Hi everyone, this is Eric from Dumb Game Dev, and today we're going to be looking at creating RTS style controls. So what this means for me, at least, or how I interpret it, is that we're able to click single objects, we can click multiple objects, we can unselect the objects, as well as in the second part, we're going to look about group selecting objects by clicking down and dragging out, which will create a box or a marquee of type and select multiple objects within it. Then at the last part, and hopefully we'll have time for that, we're going to work this with a little bit of nav mesh so that we can group select and then send that, uh, you know our troops or whatever else to a different part of the scene so we can select them and send them or send them to do different tasks. So we won't get too far into the tasks because that will be you know completely unique to your game, but we do want to look into the very basics of at least moving these cubes across the scene. Uh, after we've selected them, so group sending messages. So in this first part, we're just going to look about clicking single objects and uh, unclicking them. So why don't we get started with that? Before we get started, let's just look at what we're going to build on this first part. Now in our scene, we have a bunch of different cube prefabs. These would represent our characters or our tanks or our soldiers or whatever it may be. And we have the ability to hover over them. And you know this could play sound or something else as well. And we can click on it. And if we choose another object, it will deselect. Okay, if we hit control and I'm holding down control, I can select multiple objects. And while I'm still holding control, I can deselect objects. If I, I uh, right click, it will unselect all or if I just click off the screen somewhere it will deselect all so we can just unclick them so this is our, our first step and you know it looks you would think it would be fairly hard but it's actually not so we have just this FSM on our cubes and then we have this on our main camera or wherever we're looking from. We also, the part that you probably don't see here is that we actually have an array and if you haven't, if you don't know anything about arrays yet, we'll go over it a little bit, but I would suggest checking out the array tutorial. But the array is simply a list of clicked objects and we should have this in our global. So why don't we check Playmaker, Editor Windows, and we want to check Global Variables. Let me just drag this over and we have an array here called selected objects. Let's see if we can drag this down. Click play. We just want to make sure this works before we follow through. And what we should see here is the list of clicked objects. And I'll just grab a few. And as you can see, they're being added here. And this is exactly what we want because we want to be able to actually do something with these, not just have them, you know, light lit up or color changed. Okay, so let's start a new scene and get into this.